Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Welcome to Question of the Week. I'm Katie Haler. And this week, we're reaching dizzying heights for an answer to Matt's question. If I fell out of a building, I would die. But if like a squirrel or a cat fell out of it, I think it would be fine. So how big does something have to be before fall damage will kill it? On the forum, Patella Mana thinks that physical fitness plays a crucial role in the ability to recover from a fall, while Janus reckons it's all about an object's cross-sectional size compared to its mass. But what does our expert say? We roped in physicist Stuart Higgins to untangle the fearful science of falling. So there's no clear answer or size threshold of an animal before a fall will kill it. There are so many different physical and biological factors that can affect what happens during a fall that it's no one particular number or parameter that gives us the answer. However, physics can tell us more generally about why smaller animals such as cats are more likely to survive a high fall than, say, a human. And it's all to do with momentum. Momentum is your mass times your velocity, how fast you're going in a particular direction. The bigger your mass the bigger your momentum at a given speed. Back to Stuart and the hypothetical animal that's just fallen out of a building. When you stop, there's a change in momentum and that means you're going to experience a force. And the size of that force depends on how quickly you stop. So if you can increase how long it takes you to slow down, the force is less. And that's how seat belts and airbags and the crash mats used by stunt performers work. So cats and squirrels have smaller masses so even if they're falling at a similar speed, they won't experience as large a force as a human would. And cats are also particularly smart because they can twist their bodies midair to allow them to rotate and land on their feet. And they can then use their legs, a bit like shock absorbers, to again increase the amount of time it takes them to slow down and reduce the amount of force on their bodies. As well as cats, Matt's question mentions squirrels. But take a flying squirrel, for instance. Its blanket-like body shape, when all stretched out, gives it an edge when it comes to surviving a fall. After all, they're able to glide through the air as their shape results in increased drag or air resistance. So where does air resistance come into our question? The bigger the animal, the higher its mass, and also the larger its surface area. It's surface area that affects air resistance, like with our flying squirrel. But as you get bigger and bigger, the mass increases at a much higher rate than the surface area. So it's the ratio of surface area to mass that means that smaller animals have lower terminal velocity, the fastest speed that they can possibly fall at, than larger ones. So a flat, light animal would fall slower than a narrow, heavy animal. So how fast an animal will fall could be affected by its surface area, but how much of an impact that has depends on its mass. Whilst it's difficult to say how big an animal would have to be before a fall would kill it, mass and body shape can influence how you'll fare in a fall. Of course, animals that spend their life jumping or gliding around might just be better at falling safely than most. And if you've got wings, well, that's just cheating. Thanks, Stuart. Still curious? Well, please don't try this at home. These ponderings have been purely hypothetical. No animals were harmed in the making of this question of the week. Next time, we'll be battling the elements with this cold conundrum from Mike. When I cycle my bike in cold weather, my nose runs. It doesn't happen in warm weather. So why is this? And is there anything I can do to help with it? And if you think you know the answer, get in touch. Email chris at thenakedscientist.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or you can join in the debate on the forum. That's nakedscientist.com slash forum. Until next time, goodbye.